Good day everyone. Um yesterday we the previous day we did we talked about limits, solving limits using our calculator in the pre last uh video and um now we'll be talking about differentiation using our calculator. Now to go straight to the point not to waste much of our time, what you just need to do now is that Firstly, your calculator has to be in radian, then you press shift mode 4, it has to be in radian. So after getting it to be in radian, then you are set for your question. And um, before I proceed, I would like us to subscribe to this channel. Do well, the more we subscribe, the more we get to know that you are following and do more videos so please subscribe before i go into this question please subscribe do well to subscribe and click on the notification bell now to go into this question after changing your question your calculator mode to radial mode then you cannot go to your question differentiation function is on your calculator so to get that you press shift this then after having this then where your cursor is blinking is where you input your question so you have root 3 minus 2 squared so after inputting your question you know we were not given the value of x and our calculator is asking us for the value of x now, the value of x that you will ensure that you use is 0 0.1. There are three values you can use. You can use 0 0.1, 0 0.3, and 0 0.5. For make use of 0 0.1. In your own calculator, you can be using 0 0.3 or 0 0.5. But just pay attention. You are going to be using 0 0.1. Now, you cannot press equal to. So, after getting your equal to value for this which is you don't really need to note down but after getting it you store this value on your calculator instead of writing it down you store it shift rcl a now this value it has been stored as a in your calculator now what we now need to do now is to go to our course our options now we'll go to our options and then um, in our options now we input our option then the very the value of x in our question 0 0.1 is what we substitute into our option also then how do you substitute you calculate as x equals to 0 0.1 so after calculating as x equals to 0 0.1 then you get now we are going to now compare your the answer of your option with the answer of your question now the answer of our option is this which is answer divided by our stored answer for our question this is the answer for our option this is the answer for our question so then we divide it then if we get one if we get one then that is our answer so we cannot press equals to this is minus one so this is not the answer then we'll go to the other one And calculate 0 0.1 so different compare it to your answer our stored answer this is our stored answer compare it then you press equal to no so this is not our answer the third one the third question the third option is almost similar to the first one so just go to the first question uh -huh, option then edit just press back just go up then edit it minus 2 
and okay everything is the same everything is then then press calc 0.1 so compare then to compare you press answer divided by the stored answer so you get one so this is our answer one so definitely this if you differentiate using your hand you surely get this as your answer so option c is our answer so so to the next question you don't forget your calculator is in radian then you press shift this to bring it in a differentiation then we can now press our question ignore this like i told you ignore this bracket so you now input your own main bracket x plus one close bracket q to get your q press shift this so q then minus x alpha then q so this is the question then your x as 0.1 so you can press sd to change it as 3.6 so store it to store that you press shift rcl as, so you stored it as a on your calculator the answer for your question has been stored as a on your calculator so then we cannot go to our option input this plus 2 x squared so then calc 0 0.1 we are using the same value of x in our question as the same value of x in our option then you press equal to so whatsoever you get here you compare it with this how do you compare you press answer divided by option a as answer a answer of our question so after getting that i hope you understand we want to compare and comparing this we divide this answer by this answer so it must give us the one it must give us one are you understanding now it must give us one so you press equal to no it didn't give us one so this is not the answer then we'll go to the next option the next option is three open bracket x plus one close bracket plus three x squared then you press calc 0.1 so you can press this so compare this answer to this answer to answer a answer divided by alpha answer a so this didn't give us one so this is not an answer so as fast as possible i'm only just being slow so that we can understand what i'm trying to do so compare This is not the answer then go to the last one calc 0.1 so compare this answer answer t to answer a so answer divided by answer so give it give us one so this is our answer so option t is our answer so for other question pi we don't have x here so i will use our to as our u as x so shift this so pi is shift this then to the power of 2x so with the power of 2x now our x is 0 0.1 our x is 0 0.1 so then we can now press equal to and store this answer shift RCLA. So if we've stored it now, the answer for our question, then we can now go to our options. So to our options now, we have 2 pi to the power of 2 u, u as x, so you get then in 
pi no don't forget 2 alpha x then you bring your cursor down you bring your cursor down then in pi then close bracket you have to close it so then you solve as 0 0.1 so whatsoever you get here you compare to the answer which we saved as a so you compare it to the answer you saved as a so we now go how do we get that you press answer divided by alpha a so you must get one when you compare it you must get one so you press equal to so one so definitely this is our answer so definitely this is our answer so if you have any other question if you have any other question okay let me just i have other questions question four you can try this write it down and you also go to question five you can write this down you can go to question six write this down question seven write this down and try it question eight write this down and try it question nine write this down and try it and then um, finally we have question 10 write this down and try it let me know your answer so don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell